What's up, y'all? It's Dubby, and I'm back with a Madden Challenge group game. This was against that boy Dirty, who made it from placing well in the Miami Challenger. Never played him before. This was the first time I ever matched up with him, leaderboards or anything like that. Not sure what he wanted to do. I know I watched uh, Bugs play him, and he was running a wide trip stretch dive, you know, that type of thing. So I needed to bag that. We come out, stop the run early. Jason Pierre Paul is one of the best players in this mode. I, I love drafting him. Goes for a draw, and Dominic and Sue blows it up. I drafted both of those guys if you watched the earlier videos. Both of them are coming up with big plays. Here we go again. He has nothing to throw to. Tries to hit the corner route late. They give him a terrible animation. So he gets the fourth down, and you know I'm bringing the gas on fourth down. Cover the slot. Sack. So I get a turnover on the first drive, which is always huge. So I'm able to go ahead and, you know, change the possessions. That's what it's all about. Here we go. I hit the drag underneath. Try to get a first down. DeAndre gets popped. So I go here. I got a third and short. I go corner strike. Miss my corner route, which was a touchdown. Go over here. Try to make a play, but Derek Carr steps out of bounds. Frustrating because I had B open for a touchdown over the middle late, but I ran out of bounds. I got bad animation running out the pocket. Just took me out of bounds. So I took three. Always take three when you get a turnover because it changes the possessions. You can't give him that possession back that you just got for stopping him on his first drive. So that's why in that situation, I always take three. Able to go ahead and, and get me. Uh, I'm one up on possessions right now. And I get ball at half, so I'm pretty much two up on possessions. And here he goes. I stopped the run again, but he throws in the flats here. Hits me with the juke. The juke. Then comes here. Spin, Kraus. And then nice play by him. Obviously playing on balance if Ezekiel Elliott can do all of that. Gets him down to the 10. Just hard to play defense like that. I mean, I mean obviously he was open. Should have got 10 yards, but he just juked me and spun me and got 70 off of it. Here we go. We're inside the 10 now. This is where games are won and lost. He goes ahead. Why was he a quick Harrison Smith? Pops Deshaun Jackson. I mean, we need a fumble there. And he, here he goes. I put Harrison Smith in the yellow zone right there. And the slant just ran by him. I don't know why Harrison Smith didn't play it. I don't know. I should have kept him in the deep blue. He probably would have played the slant a little bit better. So now I'm down 7-3. to three. Got to score on this drive. Got to go back and take the lead. Get sacked on the first play, which is terrible. Uh, Melvin Gordon didn't block anybody there. Second play, the same thing. I tried to scramble. He actually mans up uh, my lone receiver, and he was able to take away the scramble because he was so close. So we go. got third and 11 here. I'm going to go ahead and throw the corner route late, able to get that with Demarius Thomas. He's my possession receiver. He's probably the best receiver on the team. So I put him in a slot so he can make plays, make big catches for me, and that was one on third and 11. Here I'm going to hit the flat pass to Kelsey, get a couple yards. I'm on conservative, so he's not going to truck anybody or anything like that. Third down, hit the corner route over his user. Big play there. I'll try to hit a draw. We get a couple yards here, probably one of my biggest runs of the game, honestly. I look like three yards. I got a second and eight. This time he blends everybody. He spies, tries to cover the whole middle, but he cannot cover the streak to Travis Kelsey. That's a touchdown. An example of how, how somebody putting a spy, I mean, you scramble that much, makes him put a spy, just opens up so much more on the field. Here we go. I give up a streak down the middle. That's, that's bad to give up a big play like that. But I was playing the run right there. Good job by him. And here we blow up the dive. Nice job by me. And we blow up the dive again. Like I was really prepared for diving stretch out of wide trips. I really was. So that wasn't going to happen to me here. He gets sacked through his lineman, Quan Alexander, and he no huddles. And so biggest play of the game right here. I need to get a stop. I need to make sure I get the ball again, go up another possession. I'm going to go cover three. I'm going to blitz everybody fourth and 11. And I just have a hook curl, three deep blues, and my user. So I got to guard a C route to the left. Don't think anything over the bunch can hurt me because the yellow zone and Kraus right there, two great players, my best DBs on the field. He's going to go ahead and just snap and just throw anything over the middle of the field right through three people, and Travis Benjamin catches it. Travis Benjamin, yeah. So he takes it to the two, runs after that, gets a nice little chunk. He'll PA, and then he goes there to run. We stop it again. I'm calling my timeouts to try to get the ball back. Goes PA end the round. It's covered. I send a spy. He does a good job of falling and not throwing the ball away. So I have to use a timeout. And he runs here, concedes, but uses as much clock as possible. Get the ball back. My best run of the day. I'm on conservative. Can't catch a body there. Frustrating, but we'll live with it. No fumbles. Here we go again. I try to hit a cover three beater. Wasn't able to roll out. It was super boxed. Lucky Krause didn't go in and take that over DeAndre Hopkins. So we go get a second and ten here. Throw a drag over the middle to Kelsey. Get a couple yards just to make my third down more manageable. Dump it off in the flat to Kelsey again. 
hits the doesn't get out of bounds. I take too much time to run this play here. I go ahead and hit this streak to Melvin Gordon. Get me enough yards close to field goal range here. So I'm going to try to hurry up and call corner strike. I need to get out of bounds. And then probably get, I want to say, maybe three to five more yards to make this field goal reasonable. You know, and honestly here during the game, I didn't know how many yards I needed. I didn't, and he calls timeout. So as offensive player, I'm thinking, what could his defense possibly be? Me, I would put two double flats, hard flats, and cloud flats on both sides. A deep blue and a deep blue in the middle. I would only rush three people. Anything over the middle is fine. I can't get a field goal off. Cannot allow me to get out of bounds. So I'm thinking personally he's going to double flat me. So I'm going to run deep corner. My best cover two beater over the clouds to go out of bounds. So I'm going to run this because I think he's going to go double flats. I'm going to streak Kelsey. Hopefully hit this by the sideline on his two flats. What happens is he actually blitzes. And the whole time he covers the corner out. Good job by him. I chuck it over there anyway. Hopefully he gets fluky. Derek Carr overthrows it, which he should because he was super boxed. You know, honestly, Derek Carr saved me an interception there. So I always hated that when the quarterback throws it out of or throws it out of bounds to save an interception. So now I'm thinking he's blitzing again. I go ahead, hit the flat, which is bad, and I just get a bad animation on the sideline, not able to fight to get out of bounds, and I don't get a field goal there. It's so bad for me not to get a field goal in that situation. A terrible management by me. I should be up 13-10, but I got to get over that. Get the ball out of half. Got to go get seven. He does a good job here. But I try to squeeze the corner around and cover three. And uh, Demarius Thomas didn't make that tough catch for me. Can't expect them all. So here we go with uh, third and 11. I try to scramble and somebody dives. Jason Verrett dives and tackles their car. Get me to a fourth and four. Go ahead and hit my flat to Kelsey. He's able to get four yards on, on a flat. So just remember, four yards on a flat I'll be able to get. Once again, draw. I cannot get my draw pop in this game. He keeps shedding. He keeps limiting into the one yard, two yards. Almost not even worth it. And here I go, I get sacked. Oh, my goodness. Kawan Short got to me. Man, here we go. Third and 11. I'm going to go ahead and fake hike him here because I got sacked crazy last time. Make sure. Oh, he's on aggressive. Okay, that's why I got screamed that last play. Get me over here to a 39 now. So 39, probably four down territory. So I'm going to go ahead and try to get half of this. That's my thought process here. If I get half of this, once again, I got a fourth and four on a flat route. So if I can get half and get to a fourth and five, fourth and four, the whole playbook is open. That's pretty much my goal here on third and nine is to get half of this. I mean, obviously, if, if he's going to give me all of it, I'm going to take it. But I have no problem. And here we go. I just check it down to Melvin Gordon. And I'm tackled right away. I should be on balance there so I can break a tackle. So I get the fourth and six. It's not ideal. I don't think my flat pass can get uh, six yards. So I'm not going to run corner strike. I'm going to come out here and run deep corner because... Corner strike, the flat route's not going to get me six yards. That's why That's why I run deep corner, bigger play. But I get him again, which is huge because fourth and one and fourth and six are completely different. So now instead of running deep corner, I'm going to go ahead and run corner strike because, I mean, it's the best short yardage pass play in the game. Obviously, probably the best pass play in the game is corner strike out a bunch. And so that's pretty much what changes. I can't run corner strike on fourth and six. But I can run it on fourth and one for sure. And honestly, he has to worry about the run on, on fourth and one too. You know, so that that's pretty much a huge difference between fourth and one and fourth and six. Terrible by him to be on aggressive on fourth and six. I'm going he's still on aggressive, actually. Doesn't get the jump there. He goes hard flats and I hit the corner route. Boom. Because fourth and one, you gotta respect the hard flat the flats. So he went hard flats, able to hit the corner route there. Dump it off the Melvin Gordon. I'm still on balance. That time we catch the body, get the block. And score a touchdown that easily. The difference between balance and conservative is that easy. And here we go. This play, I went down to the quarterback. Didn't think he would throw that slant, but he threw it. God bless his heart. Ooh, now he's running draw. He's getting 10 yards on the draw. Good tackle there by Jalen Ramsey, my corner. Here he goes. He throws a little drag before he gets to the flat routes. Nice timing. Nice pass by him. I had double flats, but he threw the drag before he got there. And here we go. Zeke fighting. So you know this guy... It's definitely on balance. He's not on conservative. He was second and four. He goes vert. I don't make that hit with Harrison Smith. Bad by me. I got to make that play. Make him drop that. Here we go. I'm getting a little bit of pressure. He rolls up and throws the C route while he's running over there. Good play by him. He was open. And run. And Dominic Sue grabs him at the last second. Forces him in the goal line situation. But he's able to get the quarterback sneak and tie the game up. Good job by him. I mean, he made, made a couple plays there. 
You about to dump it off to Melvin Gordon, juke away, catch two bodies. Hey, I'm liking the balanced life right now. You know, I think I'm going to leave it on balance for the time being until I need to put it back on conservative this game. Once again, here we go. I'm going to hit Melvin Gordon. I mean, he can't juke three people. He's not Zeke. Melvin Gordon's not Zeke, but he can fight for me a little bit. Get to a third and six here. I step up in the pocket, hit the corner route. Ah, oh, Demarius Thomas is catching it in front of his face. Good catch by Demarius. Like I said, that's why you put your big body receiver that can go ahead and make a play like that for you. And he did. He came up with a big catch for me there in a in a in traffic situation. Here I'm just running corner strike with a drag. Plays hard flash, able to hit the C route to DeAndre Hopkins. My draw with my backup running back gets a couple yards. Now here I get to a second down. We're gonna run the clock. I know for a fact if I run the ball, we're gonna take this to the two minute warning. I put it back on conservative. Run the ball to the two minute warning. My biggest flaw in this play call here is that I came out in a different formation. Now, obviously, a different formation like this just telegraphs a run because I didn't pass in it all day. I don't know how he's going to adjust to it. I, you know, I'm just telegraphing the run here just to get a two-minute warning, and he blows up the run. So he gets it all the way to, you know, from second and four to third and six. That's huge. You know, it's a big deal because now I cannot run corner strike like we talked about. I, I have to make a play over six yards. You know, that's a big deal. It changes a lot. Because this is not four down territory, I'll take my field goal and take the lead here. So if I'm going to get a first down, I have to get it all in one play. So that removes corner strike personally from my my play call here. Because I'm on conservative, I can't fumble. Because I mean, this is the game. You know, I have my three points. This is the biggest play of the game for me, and I make it here. I'm so fucking hell. I'm so fucking hell. That's why you draft Derek Carr. Y'all motherfuckers say he sucks. Y'all say he sucks. Y'all say he sucks. That's why we drafted Derek Carr. Mobility over everything. Able to make plays when you're super boxed. I called White Curl. He did a great job there boxing. My run didn't get anything on first down, so I go for a pass. But I don't like throwing anything near Kraus. So I'm going to go ahead and just take this sack right here. He had a spy. Make him use the timeout. So after that bad run on first down and second down, I'm, I'm pretty much conceding a field goal here, hoping Melvin Gordon can make a play, but he doesn't. Make him use all his timeouts. Kick my field goal perfect so he can't block it. Now he has, what, 57 seconds, no timeouts to get a, get a uh, field goal. So I'm going to kind of concede the flats. Hopefully he doesn't get out of bounds on all of them. He gets out of bounds on that one. That's my goal here. No big plays, you know, no corner routes, no C routes. He's in bunch. No PA post. I'll move Kraus in the box to stop PA post. Pretty much uh, kind of conceding the drag, hoping I can make a tackle and keep him in bounds. Any play in bounds right here is a huge win for the defense. Those back over here, and he's actually able to get out of bounds with Jimmy Graham. He only picks up five yards, but he stops the clock. So I'm hoping one of these plays, I can grab him in bounds and make him use 15, 20 seconds. That's the goal here. I'm not going to give up a C route, not going to give up a corner route, and not going to give up a cover three bomb. He's going to have to work down the field. And he continues to keep running PA post here, you know, and I'm going to go ahead and concede that. But JPP comes up with a huge play, sacks the quarterback, keeps the clock running, tick, 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 tick. No big plays. That's pretty much my whole philosophy here. Nothing over 10 yards. Hopefully nothing out of bounds. But if it's less than five yards, I'll live without a bounds. Once again, we'll just cover three, cloud flats, no bomb plays. And here he scrambles with the quarterback, doing me a favor, slide here. Goes from 28 seconds, tick, 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 tick. Guess, man. So hopefully this is going to be the second to last play of the game, hopefully. Goes for four verts here, quick snaps it, and somehow, once again, Travis Benjamin is just, you know, he, he's Jerry Rice this game. Comes up with a big play in traffic. Here's one more play, has to get out of bounds. I'm going to run DB fire, double flats both sides. Make sure he doesn't throw a flat out of bounds, doesn't throw a corner out of bounds. He can throw the ball over the middle field all he wants because that ends the game. So that's what we're going to do. Double flats. He steps up, and then Dominic Su gets him to end the game. GG's in the chat to my man, that boy Dirty. He played a great game, played really good defense, made me work. But I was able to come up, made a couple more plays than him, and moved on in my group. Thanks, y'all. I'm coming back with tons more gameplay videos for y'all. I'm out of here. Nerd!